Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do my everyday minimalist, very natural makeup look by using four products only. That is the type of makeup I wear when I want to wear makeup, but not too much. That's also the type of makeup I've been doing when I go to work um, because it's easy, it is quick, but still you can see a difference between me without any makeup and me with this minimal makeup. But this minimal makeup can very easily be upgraded a little bit by using two additional products. And I will show you both of that. For this look, I don't use foundation all over my face. So in order to have a beautiful finish, I have to make sure that the sunscreen that I use is absolutely invisible. The sunscreen I use is from a Japanese brand, which is um, Isean, and it is the Kiss Me Mommy Sunscreen SPF 50. I have already made a review about this. I will leave the link in the description box. I have already applied this sunscreen on my face. And although it is almost spring here in Paris, the weather is still quite cold. So I decided to use a little bit of moisturizer underneath my sunscreen. And I used the Dr. Sans Flawless Moisturizer. I have oily skin, so I used just a little bit of this moisturizer. Then I applied a good amount of sunscreen. And on my lips, because I have very dry lips, I used an ointment from the brand Eucerin, which is Aquaphor. And again, I've already talked about this product as well. That is the only um, affordable product that works on my very, very dry lips. The first product I'm gonna use is my foundation, which is from the brand Mina. I've already talked about this foundation on my videos. It is one of my favorites. I've been buying it several times, but what I don't like is the pump because it does not work. So I always have to remove it in order to use it. I'm gonna apply the foundation lightly where I have hyperpigmentation in order to give myself an even look. So that's what I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna use light layers. So the goal here is not to have an absolutely perfect even skin tone, but to really just focus on the most hyperpigmented areas on my face in order to have a non-perfect but still beautiful and natural even skin tone. By the way, I have put timestamps on this video so you can use them if you want to fast forward to the next steps. But my advice, of course, is to watch the full video to get all the information. When I'm done applying the light layers, I'm gonna check myself in the mirror and see if I see more hyperpigmentation. For instance, here I have um, dark spots which were created not long ago because of a sunscreen I've tried. Uh, it gave me blemishes and then the dark spots. I have to review this sunscreen by the way, but I have to try it again to make sure 
that the sunscreen is the reason I broke out. That's how seriously I take my reviews. I have to check everything to make sure before I make a video. So for this area, I'm using a small brush where I put more foundation and I'm gonna add more foundation on this area only. Then I'll check myself again in the mirror and apply a little bit more of foundation where it's needed. As you can see, I did not apply foundation all over my face, but still I have an even look and complexion. And you can only do that if you have a foundation that really matches your skin. And as you can see, it gives a natural finish. Now I'm going to use the second and third products. And those two products do the same thing. They are two eyebrow mascara. They are in a dark brown color. And I use two, one from the brand L'Oreal and another one from the brand NYX. I use both because I think that the mix of both of those brown colors is very close to my natural eyebrow colors. I love to use eyebrow uh, mascara because it helps to really shape or intensify the shape of your eyebrows. Also, you can change it a little bit if you have to. And usually I use the eyebrow mascara from L'Oreal last because it really helps to set in place the eyebrow so they don't move. Also, I find eyebrow mascara much more easier and quicker to use than eyebrow pencil, but that only works if you already have eyebrows. I just need them to look thicker and more intense in color. So I have used three products already, so we only have one product left for the very minimalist version of this look and it has to be a blush. And as you can see, I have used that blush a lot to the point that it is in several pieces now, but still I'm going to use it until there is no more product anymore, that's how good it is. The blush is really what makes my face looks more alive. I love how it also shapes my face and um, really show my cheekbones, natural cheekbones, which I love so much because it is spring, although it doesn't feel like spring, but still I'm gonna use a very bright pink corally blush and on dark skin, the bright pink coral looks so good, especially for spring season.
it is only four products but that makes a difference so that's the minimal makeup look that i love to do on an everyday basis when i go to work when i just go out and when i don't have the time obviously in this video it took me more time because i had to film it's a little bit different you know i have a small mirror here in my bathroom i have a big one but it really doesn't take me a lot of time to do it because i have the right product they are really good quality and they do last all day now i'm going to show you the two products i add to this look in order to have a more sophisticated but still natural finish the first additional product i use is this mascara I have already talked about it in my video on my favorite makeup products but I must say that I have changed my mind about um, this mascara. It is good but it is expensive and it dries up way too fast for the price in my opinion. And when it starts to get dry the results are not as impressive or impactful compared to when the mascara is brand new. For the lower lashes, I use a waterproof mascara as the benefit one would leave residue. I did not realize, but uh, that one also counts for an additional product. I am done with the mascara and what a difference it makes. I actually love my eyes. I love them even when I don't have mascara, but when I want a bigger, big Vavavum impact, Obviously, I do wear mascara, but mascara takes a while to be applied properly. So when I am in a rush or when I just want a very minimalist look, I just give up on mascara. The last product I'm going to apply in order to have this more natural, sophisticated makeup look is a lipstick from the brand Lisa Edridge. It is a nude lipstick and if you have been watching my videos a lot you will recognize the color because I've been wearing a lot uh, those past videos. I like it because it is natural with a pink undertone which matches my skin tone and the blush that I use today perfectly and because it is a nude uh, lipstick there is no need to add um, lip pencil if you don't want to for the natural look no need for lip pencil it will look great without it please watch until the very end of the video to see both makeup looks side by side Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.